So the question here is, which of the squares A or B is lighter? Which seems like a ridiculous question, it's clearly B. But what I'm going to do here is I'm simply using a paint package to cut out square B and place it over square A. So that's me just cutting it out, placing it over. And there you can see they're exactly the same. There's absolutely no trickery involved here. All I did is just do that cut out and paste. And again, similar example with these uh, two different colored dresses, but are they? You can see that part is incredibly enough exactly the same. This is an example of what we call confirmation bias. Here's a kind of like really heavily digitized image. What do you see here? Most people can't really see anything at all. But what I'm going to now do is reveal what the actual image is. And you can see it's this baseball player. And the thing is, if I now show you back to the original image, it's hard not to see what the real image is. And of course, this is a classical problem of forensic science because you were genuinely uncertain about what the partial image was. But once you've seen the full image, you're absolutely certain about what the partial image is. And finally, there's this illusion of a moving staircase at the San Siro Stadium, but it's simply just people walking in the same direction. 